goes. Chris then with the corner. Into the six-yard box. Heads go up. That's a useful effort. A good save as well. Marvin Johnson it was. He struck that ball with real venom. And Pez just able to get a hand to it and turn it over the top. Thomas tries to pick out Hartson again. Good skill by John Hartson. Can he go on? He's in the penalty area. Overstretches, and that's just wide. A strong, forceful run by John Hartson. He's playing with a great deal of confidence at the moment. Now Marshall and Waddock. Good one-touch football from Luton. Hughes asking Thomas to stretch a bit, and he wins the free kick. Nice one-touch football from Luton Town there, but Mitchell Thomas was always stretching. Hughes curls that one in. That's not a bad effort, and that's a goal. Was it an own goal? Well, there was a shake of the head there by Marvin Johnson. John Hartson, I think, will take the credit. But it's arguable that that came off a Middlesbrough defender. They've played some inspired football this afternoon, Luton Town. Priest, Marshall. Hartson, and Marshall's through. 2-0. Dwight Marshall. His fourth goal of the season. Luton. 2-0 up after 35 minutes, and that goal was simplicity itself. Luton can be so effective at set pieces. Hughes is there, so too is Priest. Telfer and James, here's Priest. Telfer, maybe he'll have a go. Too many Middlesbrough bodies in the way. Hughes. Hartson at the far post. Priest, and there's a third goal. David Priest will take the credit. A flying volley. Hartson. Telfer's away. Marshall is in the middle, so to his Priest. David Priest, surely now. Marshall, they're walking it in. He's got it. <laughs> Dwight Marshall. <laughs> Waddock. Telford. Hartson. What can they do this time, Luton? Fallen kindly for Hughes, now it's with Hartson, and that's a terrific goal. Whoa, John Hartson. They were a shade fortunate then to begin with. The ball fell kindly for Kerry Hughes of Curtis Fleming, but you couldn't argue with that shot from John Hartson. James with the throw. Telfer. Might have thought a bit more about that. It gives possession away. Cox now for Middlesbrough. Cox takes the return. Plenty of support. Header from Blackmore, and again, all off the line. Julian James. The one opportunity that Middlesbrough have had. And Luton saved by Julian James. Pollock will take this free kick. Pignis is there with him. Good touchdown, Blackmore. Good save. But they get it this time. Derek White gets the consolation goal for Middlesbrough. One or two ironic cheers from the Luton faithful. 83 minutes gone. Clayton Blackmore was there first. He should have scored. Summer made the save, but it fell invitingly then for Derek White.
to score his first goal of the season. All the lads have done really well today. I think I think everybody has to do well, you know, to to beat a team 5-1. Um, we got to do well all over. Like um, I thought, the back four were brilliant first half. You know, we went in three 0 as I said, and um, it's great. Like for the front men, if you if you cut the goals up, it takes the pressure off a little bit. You know, football's judged on goals, and like I say, that gives you the confidence. And in the other games at home, we've not really hit the front, and um, we've attacked teams, and um, we've not really found the net today. We uh, fair play to Mills; they've come at us, but we still took the game to them, and we've uh, come out and some winners. It's a great win for us today, 5-1 uh, Middlesbrough, the top of the league. Like, um, so, I, like we, we've, the man just said, well done today, you know, enjoy it, you know, a good win. But we've just got to go from here now. We've got a tough one against Sheffield next week and uh, let's hope we can get someone up there. Yes, Luton following up last week's win at Stoke in uh, some style, but a bit of a surprise that, wasn't it? Well, it was going to be a hard game, but um, it's a demolishing in the end. And uh, I'll be honest, I've been impressed with Hartson and also, also uh, Dwight Marshall, another two goals, got one last week. Two today, um, or two yesterday, sorry. David Pleat, he's got to be over the moon. And uh, what about Brian Robson's Middlesbrough? Has the bubble 